Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all of the praises and the glory to the Most High and His Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushah, Bahashem, Rakah, Gradash. Double honor to that apostles of the great millstone, as well as the elders and the brothers on down overall, 144,000, as well as the one third, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushah, Rakatham. You already know it's your brother Laban. And what I want to get into in this lesson here is um, showing you that these devils, as I'm starting to really see with these articles in regards to freedom of speech, one day um, having to be taken out because um, people are doing a lot of talking and finding out information and truths that's um, having a negative impact on the powers that be which control the internet to a degree and hence is why they came up with the internet and as well as the computers in the first place so that people can be monitored and what they're um, explaining about a particular subject matter and um, what's going on is, is that it's actually backfired because people are able to figure out more effectively what the powers that be are up to doing and that wasn't the plan the plan was the plan excuse me the plan was is for the elite to get more in depth and what people were doing just like um jay rockefeller now i don't know if they still got the video up but there's a video of him saying that the internet was in in, in my words as i could quite remember um, but he um, he spoke ill against the internet. He, you know, he later um, expressed that the internet was basically the worst thing that they could come up with because basically through the internet, a lot of truths came out against them when really the fact that the matter, the truth should have came up against the public instead for them, but it backfired. As well as it always happens to men. Everything that you do has an opposite reaction. So the reaction that they're now experiencing is they're being exposed. Trying to expose people. Now people got the, got the insight of, of what they're all about instead. And this is what's so troubling to them. Okay, so now let me read this. First article, uh, the World Economic Forum granted backdoor access to regulate hate speech online. The World Economic Forum is being granted backdoor access by various governments to police social media platforms. Wow. For so-called hate speech and misinformation. The World Economic Forum says the move will allow them to regulate online speech regardless of whether or not a user has free speech protection under their country's laws. So down here in the UK, we have the right to um, exercise what we want to say under the um, law of um, freedom of expression. So what these devils are saying, despite the fact that you have laws that can, that can, that can facilitate you to speak your mind due to a democratic society, we are so called in. These people can come in and infiltrate and, and uh, probably uh, get you policed and get you arrested because of the information you're spreading. So this is very well showing that these devils are losing control because the most important thing to these devils is their knowledge and you going by their knowledge. In other words, their lies. So because we're not going by their knowledge or let's just say their narrative, they have lost control. They have lost the power. So when you have a great deal of responsibility to rule over people, there lies panic. And, and so exactly as it should. Because as the saying goes, with, with great power comes great responsibility. And people have um, been under their lives and these devils have been prospering 
over us, the people. And just like I've said before, the way that this devil prospers is when we are sick. And what makes people sick is lies. And that's being put to a stop. Okay? It's about to be put to a stop little and little. And this is troubling. Like I said, this is a very troubling thing for these devils. And this is why this reads in the book of Job 5 and um, verse 12. He disappointed the devices of the crafty and so that their hands cannot perform the enterprise. And this is just the beginning of that. as what we're seeing with all manner of truths coming out. Because the ultimate device, like I've mentioned, was the, um, the, the computer. And as well as the internet. And the internet originally was purposed some for information to be revealed to them with what we were doing. But that got disappointed. One of the devices of many uh, that got disappointed, which is the internet. And instead, the people are finding out truths and they're able to keep up with what their government's doing. <laughs> Job 5 and 13, he take of the wise, this is the point, he take of the wise in their own craftiness and the counsel of the forward is headlong. Let's look up this word um, headlong, shall we? And the word is maha. The word is maha, which is to hasten, to be hurried, to be anxious, hasty, precipitate, impetuous, to hasten, make haste, hasten, uh, to hasten, prepare quickly. So that's what it means. It means to hasten. And this is why they're moving with the quickness now. With in regards to getting rid of um, your freedom of speech, which is a part of the New World Order agenda, is to have you not speak on anything at all, but to have you be forced under their narratives. And if you go against those narratives, then you will be punished. All right. This is what this devil is establishing because the devil is losing control over the population because the population are no longer corresponding with the lies anymore. As it is also written, let's go and get another precept. Uh, Proverbs 12 and uh, verse 19, which reads, The lip of truth shall be established forever. But a lying tongue is but for a moment. And that's just the thing with lies. Lies wear off in the process of time. And what you got to do with lies, you have to refabricate a lie. Because if you don't refabricate a lie, then it, it wears away. Truth, on the other hand, is established forever. You don't need to add anything to the truth. You don't need to refabricate truth. The truth alone stands by itself and it is established forever. And, and this is the problem with Esau. The jacket of truth he, he cannot wear. Because the truth does not benefit the devil. What benefits the devil is for the devil to deceive you. That's how the devil has power over you through his power of deception. Which really is um, temporal power. But the power of truth is eternal. And this is how we have the advantage. And I'm, when I say we, I'm talking about the Israelites. The Israelites of God in this case. Meaning that it's only about the elect which will have the truth in totality. Again, that's why we have the advantage over Esau. Esau has the advantage over us for a while. It's a difference. Because his power is under the influence of lies. Okay? Which is not eternal. But we have the truth which is eternal. So even though we have been stepped over under our enemies in due time, the truth will be is that the saints will be established in truth and in truth shall we be established forever. All right? That's another topic for another moment. <laughs> But you get what I'm saying, right? Um, so now let me go and read this as well. Let's get back to the point. Verse 
verse 3, 2 Thessalonians 2 and verse 3. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that they shall not come, except there come a falling away first. And that man of sin be revealed, which is the son of perdition. Excuse me, the son of perdition. Who are the sons of perdition? The sons of perdition are these Edomites, beginning with the top of the mountain of this wicked world, which are these Amalekites. You want to call them the small hats, the big wig wearers, um, the so-called Ashkenazis, okay, which that has nothing, which Ashkenazi has nothing to do with Shem, by the way. I mean, I don't understand how that's, a, how you could mix with that, but you know, that's them in it. But the thing of it is, these devils are being revealed, man. And when the devil is revealed, no one wants to basically be under the realms of the devil. No one wants to respect those that are evil anymore. So now, because of that, these devils cannot rule any longer. So if these devils can um, continue on with their lies, then they can try. And this is why it also mentions in the book of Job that the tribe of the wicked is short. Why is it short? Because lies only but last for a period of time. And the word hypocrite just simply means someone that is a, that of an actor. So the only thing that Esau can do is act as though he's righteous and act as though he's for the, uh, the benefit of the planet Earth when in fact he's doing the quiet opposite. And he can only but do this to get his way. Okay? But how long is that going to be for a short span of time? Because he's a liar. All right. So this reads, uh, who opposes and exalted himself above all that is called God. And that is a lie. All that is worship so that he is as the most high sitting in the temple of the most high showing himself that he is the most high. And just like how we don't already figured out that the Renaissance art is nothing more than a lie itself. The idea of, uh, as the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, and all throughout these different churches, they have um, the Messiah painted as a uh, 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 an Edomite, which looks like a hippie in, in the late 1960s. That's nothing more than a lie. Okay, and that's all this devil can do. You can't blame this devil for lying because that's his power on the left-hand side. Without him lying, he doesn't stand a chance on planet Earth to rule. So he's going to do this. And this is why it's a big deal for people to keep their mouth shut in regards to these powers. Because the more people talk is the more truth is revealed. Just like it mentions, as I just read, that there will come a falling away first. And that son. Let me read it again because I'm going to butcher it. Let no man deceive you by any means for that day shall not come except their coming or falling away first. And the falling away came during the time of the first, what is it, Jewish, Roman Jewish wars. Stemming from what, 66, 67 AD, 232 uh, to 5 uh, BC, excuse me, not BC, AD, or CE. And that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. So in the time of the sons of perdition ruling they're being revealed for the wickedness that they do in secret we can talk about the different secretive councils they get into we can talk about the uh the 40 foot hour that they worship in sonoma county georgia in california okay and how they sacrifice and drink blood and and, and do all kind of dark uh mind altering things to people if you were to see it would alter your mind and it would bug you the hell out okay so all of these things are are out in the open now information is all out in the open about the powers that are today and they are wicked beyond your comprehension all right so there you go so these devils can't have their evil come out like that because then therefore people are going to be looking at them sideways and and not going to be wanting to side by them anymore and if people don't if people don't honor and respect your authority then you don't have no power at that point it's basically done 
You know, you can be the king of the world, but if no one recognizes your 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 kingship, then it's all flawed at that point. And this is where we've come down to. And this is why these devils are moving with the quickness and rolling out certain things in regards to their new world order agenda. All right. Let's read uh, Revelations uh, 12 and um, verse 7. So like, yeah, let's just get to the point in verse 9. I almost read the wrong verse there. Revelations 12 and verse 9. And the great dragon was cast out. That old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceived the whole world. And he was cast out into the earth and his angels were cast out with him. And this is why John the Revelator, uh, as it's named, this system, he's talking about the Roman system, considering it as the devil and Satan. Because you all have devils and those that are um, satanic indeed that are controlling the system. Ruling over the people with great deception. And they're deceiving the whole world. And eventually, as it is written, he was cast out into the earth and his, and his angels were cast out with him. So eventually, as it's written, these devils and their whole entire power construct. It's going to be told to nothing. And that's why in verse 12 it mentions that this reads, Therefore rejoice ye heavens, which are the angels, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you. So we're supposed to rejoice as well, having great wrath because ye know that he have but a short time. How does this devil know that he has but a short time? By the awakening of the population. And simultaneously he's seeing the, the um, as they call the UFOs. Or AUPs down here in the UK. So they get in a heads up that something is about to give. And it's going to go against them. That something is going to go against them. And this is why they're panicking, because that's all it is. It's just them panicking. When you're seeing these kind of articles on, on um, them one day having to do with your, your freedom of speech and all of that, it's just a case of them declaring that they're losing their grip on the power that they once had before. That's what that's all about. Luke 12. And let's begin by reading verse 1 to verse 3. In the meantime, uh, when they were gathered together, an immutable multitude of people, insomuch that they trolled one upon another, he began to say unto his disciples, First of all, beware ye of the leaven and of the Pharisees, which is hypocrisy. For there is nothing covered that should not be revealed, and neither hid that should not be known. Therefore, whatsoever ye have spoken in darkness shall be heard in the light, and that which ye have spoken in the ears in the closet shall be proclaimed upon the housetops. So again, all of the secret things that were spoken and, and um, done, it's all coming out to the light and is, be, and is being shown before the world. And now the world does not want to follow behind these devils like they used to because they were blinded by the evil of these devils. But their evil has come out. And again, that's what's troubling these devils. Okay? Alright? So there you go. So before I go any further, let me go into this over here. This is from the Infowars.com. You already know who website this is. This is um Alex Jones. Uh breaking ADL used hidden microphones to spy on Americans inside their homes. Uh, Call of Duty has begun eavesdropping on an in-game voice chat using AI trained by the Anti-Defamation League to help ban gamers for using toxic speech, hate speech, discri discriminatory language, and harassment and more. Um, Alex Jones details how this high-tech attack on free speech signals the birth of a totalitarian regime that would make Hitler's Nazis envious. Don't forget Infowars. That's it. That's all I got to read. He's promoting this. He's promoting, you know, the things he's selling, man. I don't have to get into that. But, you know, it, it speaks for itself, man. These devils is, is you, you know, 
got secret microphones, cameras watching you and what you're going to do because they're fucking paranoid, man. And they should be paranoid because they got they got great power. So with great power comes a great deal of responsibility. And um and then they've been prospering greatly too by it. So they should. You know what I mean? If you're a leader, you should be panicking when you lose control. You should. Oh, yes. You know, that applies as well as even on the right-hand side of things. Okay? Um, Job, what is it? 18 and verse 5. And here's the point. Ying, the light of the wicked shall be put out and the spark of his fire shall not shine. So that just represents his lies. In other words, this pseudo knowledge, which does not benefit for nobody, but drives the nuts and crazy. And this is why we see people doing crazy things, because people are under the, the lies of the wicked. Okay. And eventually... When this devil is cast down, his wisdom and his understanding is going to be cast down. And the lips of truth will be established forever. And the truth has just begun to spring up and it's proliferating now until the Messiah makes a second return. So that's all I have to say right here in this lesson here. Hopefully uh, this was edifying, bringing out a couple of articles and then usually getting into the scriptures. And so, yeah, Ron, with that, I'm out. Shalom.